Here we have run a marathon tips. I do have a running channel. If you want running specific tips and only running, subscribe to my running channel, should be down below. Doing Riders Running Tips, this is a 248 marathon I did in uh, Australia, South Australia. And uh, I was disqualified in this race though because I was handed sugar water, sugar water doping scandal. And I was unaware that you could get support uh, during a marathon outside of it because I didn't want to rely on their shitty sports drink options. So I had someone give me a sugar water bottle outside the aid station and that was disqualified material. So, but the good thing is it was on Strava, and so it's all documented. But anyway, apart from that, it was, there's running tips. Uh, running for weight loss is a common one people do for running for weight loss. Running's the worst sport for weight loss. You gotta be really lean to run. If you're not, then you're gonna get injured really quickly. You're gonna get injured really quickly. It's just a matter of time. And that's all about cycling. I don't recommend more than 10 miles a week running, really, unless you're like a really advanced runner. Anything more than 10 miles a week, you're probably gonna get injuries very, very soon. Uh, you're going to get, you know, postural or back and, you know, we're designed to run, but we're not designed to have 20 years off running and then go when I run marathons. <laughs> so here I am running along. What the fuck am I doing here? Anyway, this is, this is a good, good circuit sort of thing. I am texting. No, I'm texting. What the fuck are you doing? Dude, focus, bro. See, this is why I'm, I ran a 248 marathon. I'm fucking around my iPod. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like unorganized. That's a minute right there or more. So I'm not even breathing properly. That jaw. So I'm looking down. You can't breathe probably when you're looking down. Head up, bro. Head up. And you can sort of, now I see my body starting to rotate more and more, bouncing side to side like a boxer. And that's not good when you're a runner. You're losing energy there. So my form is pretty sloppy. And that shows some, the 10 miles a week um, for running. So it was a lap circuit. So we just run past and running past a lot of the other the runners who are. They're my inspiration because they're going to be out there for another two or three hours. And so I'm always inspired by people who run. They're slower runners, but they're going to be out there for longer. So they're the people who keep me going along. And this is a home stretch here. You can sort of see I'm, my posture's starting to go. I'm starting to point that chin out. I just relax my hands then. That's just good. You want to stay relaxed as possible. Relax as possible. So this is a 248 marathon, which is 4-minute K pace for 42.2 Ks. And my tip is wear minimal clothing, just lightweight running shorts, lightweight singlet. I've got like a little belt that's got a gel in there and my iPod. And the shoes I'm using. It's all about the shoes that day. They had the Outra Olympus. Very, very heavy shoe. They're a trail shoe, but my my favorite marathon shoe because they're really good cushioning. And in my opinion, the more cushioning you got, the faster you're going to run in a marathon because you'll have less fatigue metabolites and your legs getting bounded up. Unless you're on EPO and you're running like two, a sub-220 marathon, then yeah, you can get away with racing flats. But I think anyone who's above 220 marathon time should be running in high cushion shoes like the Outra Olympus. And they're nice and wide wide toe box as well let your feet splay naturally um, so you can see if you have good form as a runner you have more efficiency and be more effective and you run faster for the same given effort so i could go even faster and i could probably do a 228 marathon if i really knuckle down and did better running and, and learn how to run with better form and that just comes with time and consciousness walking through the aid station you lose time there hands and the hips you're losing time there but hey, everyone's out there having a crack. It was a good temperature for it, nice and cold. You want ideal running temperatures about 7 degrees Celsius. 7 to 10 degrees Celsius is what uh, all the lab reports suggest as fastest running times for the the marathon or 21K, half marathon even. So the colder, around 7 to 10 Celsius, around 40, 45 Fahrenheit, that's a good time for running. Uh, you might, If you're very cold, you might want to run in gloves. You might want to put a little beanie on. But uh, yeah, there you go. So we just cruise along here in the marathon, all sorts of people with a 40k to mark. So we've got 2k to go, 2.2k to go during it, bring it home. And um, that's I don't recommend running more than 10 miles a week. You don't need to more, you don't need to do more than 10 miles a week if you want to be a sub 248 marathoner. I'm a sub 248 marathoner, I'm a 248 marathoner, and I don't recommend more than 10 miles a week. And that's me crossing the line. Not even gassed. My legs are pretty cooked, but uh, my cycling cardio paid the bills. Not even breathing that hard. Go for a little walk, cool down. And um, the guy there congratulating me also, he's the one who reported me for getting a, a drink. People will shake your hand and I'll stab you back. Anyway, that's the marathon tips. You got any questions down below, hit me up. And uh, what's your marathon PB? What's your marathon tips? And what shoes do you like? I rate the Ultra Olympus best marathon shoe on the market, in my opinion, at the moment.